You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a commentary. Now the reason I wanted to do a commentary was because some controversy came up on one of my videos over the weekend. I thought it would be interesting to sort of get my points across, get some feedback from you guys and see what you all think. Now before we start, if you are interested in getting some Ultimate Team Coins, check out that link down in the description. So, what video is it that I'm talking about? Well, it's the team that was at the start of this video. It's the 352 Silver team uh, that's a BPL, SPL and Brazilian hybrid. Now, I, I'll start at the beginning. Last week, I knew I was going away for the weekend. I went to Edinburgh with my girlfriend, which if you want to hear about, do put in the comment section because I'm happy to do a commentary about that, maybe show you some photos and stuff of the sort of stuff we did because we had a really good time and it was really cool. So I was away from Saturday morning until Monday evening, which meant I knew I had to put up a whole load of videos scheduled, uploaded, so that they were all there for you guys to watch over the weekends because that's just you know how I work. I like to make sure that I get two videos up every day and uh, that's just generally how I make my videos and how my channel runs. So that was my plan. I did that. I did the squad build. This particular squad builder happened to be in a party with Bates and I think and Matt K Prince, who was actually helping me refine the squad and get the uh, best players in there possible. So um, anyway, that's enough of that. Came back on the the Monday evening, went through my videos, had a look as I always do to check how they'd all done, read the comments, etc. And there was one that happened to stick out like a sore thumb, and it was this one, uh, this squad builder, because. It had 600 likes, which is good for me. I used to get around 500 and 60 dislikes, which is a lot higher than I'm used to. I'm usually used to about 15 dislikes per video, which is perfectly fine. And I don't really, the world of dislikes don't really bother me because at the end of the day, as long as people are still enjoying them, which they obviously are, 600 likes, 60, I will continue to make them. And uh, I was like, okay, well, that's kind of high. Let's go check out what's going on in the comment section. I'm sure there'll be some indication as to why the dislikes are so high. I was expecting it to be me something like, uh, I had said a player's name wrong or I'd said a team wrong or I'd said a team was rubbish which I have done in the past and it's got a lot of dislikes because of it. Um, so I went into it and uh, it pretty, became pretty obvious pretty quickly what was wrong and it happened to be that this squad was very similar to another squad built by a guy called Lasty. Now a lot of you will probably already know Lasty, in fact obviously a lot of you do know Lasty because otherwise you wouldn't have already been on the video commenting saying that this was similar to Lasty's video. Um, and I was like, oh right, okay. So I went back through Lasty's videos, had to go and have a little bit of a search uh, and I uh, did indeed find the squad that was in question. It was a BPL, SPL, 352 um, Brazilian hybrid and the only difference was I think he used Danilinho at right mid, he used Zilao in the central or centre back position and then a different goalie as well. So there wasn't very much variation between the two teams and uh, it did look like the team had been copied. So unfortunately I had never seen this squad before. I don't, before I make a team I don't go through and check YouTube with a tooth comb uh, to make sure that I haven't accidentally stepped on someone's toes and made a squad that's similar. Um, so I had no idea that this squad even existed. I'm not actually subscribed to Lasty. There's no problem between me and him before some of you start going crazy. It's just purely because I don't have enough time to watch a thousand different FIFA videos from a hundred different uh, FIFA directors every single day. I mean, if we look, put it in perspective, Nepenthes does three 20 minute videos every single day. That's an hour of my day gone. And just generally, there aren't enough hours in the day for me to both you know, balance the social life make my own videos and watch FIFA videos all at the same time. So the thing, the feet, watching FIFA videos usually goes on the back burner and maybe I'll watch maybe two, three a day while videos are rendering, whatever, while I can't, while I can't actually do any of my own video making. So, had never seen the squad before and uh, I went through the comment section, there were some very harsh comments, I mean there was things like calling me a douche and an arsehole and the uh, the, that I copied him completely and uh, he's going to unsub because it's disgusting and stuff like that and just and people asking why was there no credit to Lasty and the, generally the reason there is no credit towards Lasty is because I didn't copy him and I had no idea that he'd made the same squad so I wouldn't have been able to give him credit because I didn't know it existed. So that's just why I'm sort of making this commentary, just to tell you that I hadn't got out and copied his squad and been like, oh yeah, we'll get away with this because there's no way that I can make a squad builder uh, exactly the same as someone who's got 50,000 subscribers. There's no chance. And last he's obviously doing very well at the moment. His channel's growing a lot quicker than mine. So fair play to the guy. He's doing very well and uh, he deserves all the credit he gets. But in this case, I didn't know that the squad existed and it had came, well, it'd come out of mine collaboratively the squad had come out of mine and Matt's head and uh, yeah that's how the team has sort of been developed I mean there's been times in the past when I have made sort of like funny squads or whatever and people have come over and been like 
why is there no credits credit to the guy who made this on FUT head now FUT head has like I think it's like 10 million squads on it so there is like no chance that I can look at every single FUT head squad that's on the on the on the website otherwise I'd be there for about a thousand hours a day which doesn't you know there's not enough hours and days again so sometimes I think people are going to have to start to assess, accept that this sort of thing is going to probably happen more and more as more FIFA directors get out there and start building more squads that there will be you know videos that are very similar to each other and just happen to coincidentally be very similar the reason that my squad was so similar to last season because it's a very strong squad it has the two best BPL strikers in my opinion I mean I could have gone for Bentake or Lukaku but I didn't want to I thought that uh, the ones that I but I thought Ogbonaho and Mayuko are both unbelievable wanted to try out McKay Steven because he is a five star skiller on the left side of the pitch and there's not all that many of them and whenever I played against him in silver tournaments and stuff he's been absolutely unreal and just caused me a lot of problems wanted to get some more skill on the right so obviously we're probably going to go for Brazil either that or I would have had to go for I think Quincy from uh, the Hellas League and uh, so yeah there wasn't very much that I could do differently from what I did already obviously I had to go into um, the rest of the team get the links going on so Bannon was an obvious choice getting that link from Scotland to the BPL then there was a couple of very strong um, well strong SPL players in there that I had to put in just because if I put anyone else in it would have been a weaker team so um, yeah I just wanted to sort of share my thoughts and opinions on this guys I hope you sort of got the uh, or caught the gist of it I'll be interested to see what you think of this whole thing maybe you make videos and you happen to see someone make a squad that's very similar to you uh, does that mean they've copied you or does it mean that they've just coincidentally made the same team if you could uh, you know put your comments down in the comment section as I said that would be amazing uh, some support on this would be really cool if you could drop a video like but other than that I'm just going to stop talking I hope you have enjoyed the footage and uh, sort of the droning on of my voice and uh, I will stop talking and I will leave it there